You're watching Chewing the Cud. With Mike, Benny and Rowe, and Lee Robertson. And then I could feel something blowing and then run, oh no, I thought she was getting a bit moist. And hello, welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Um, I've got some news of a new Netflix dating televisual programme. Oh. <laughs> what, what was funny about that then? Just reaction. Same one I do all the time. See yeah. Inane stories. But on screen now you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media where you can also follow us. The Could.TV is our website and on YouTube and podcast services. Look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have reached out and touched us on social media traverse along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. Names. Mm. Yes. Do you have any nicknames? Not that I'm prepared Naughty to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm prepared to discuss. Oh, not sexy time names. No. Not like take it, you... But, yeah. Take it, you dirty bitch. <laughs> no, that isn't... That was my, that was, that was my confirmation name. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, well, as a man has... Reckons he's got the most famous name in the UK. Does he? Yeah. What name do you think he's got? Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. King Kong. King Kong. Bruce King Kong. Yeah. That's an interesting combination. Um, no, Dino Wilson. Dino. 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 Obviously, I'll right. like, hey. Dino. Why does, that, why does he think that's the most famous right. name? Um, he's claiming that nobody's more famous than him as the only person whose name is up in lights every day, even after a power cut, because he's changed his name to Fire Exit. What? Why, why do we allow these people to take up our time? <laughs> why do I find these on go? Oh, that's good. I was... What? Oh, well done, him. Because, yeah, his name's everywhere. Yeah. People have even, when they find out what his name is, it's actually people are stopping asking for autographs because they don't believe him and stuff. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not commenting on it because I don't have anything positive to say. <laughs> You're getting rage. Uh, not rage, just kind of exasperation with the human race. So he's, he's called Mister Mister Fire just Exit. Fire Exit. Right. Yeah. So now his name is legally required to be on any public space with a fire exit. Got a lot of time on his hands, has he? Possibly. What he said is, it's all about comedy and how far you can take the joke. Is it, though? Is it about comedy? Because <laughs> I don't think it's funny. When he tells people the story of changing the name, he sees different reactions that he gets and he finds that interesting. Right. I wonder if you would find it re interesting when he said it to me and I plunged a pen into his eyeball. You don't want to pen up the nose and slam head onto the desk. Because then you get to do <laughs> death like and... Yeah. Like yeah. Or, or, you know, find your way out of that, you bell end. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> What if we set him on fire? Fire through the fire exit. Fire exit through the fire exit. Mm. <sighs> you want me to move on, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you're not happy with that person. I just don't. All. I don't understand the mentality. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> talking about mental things, a couple of weeks ago we talked about chicken nuggets. Okay. Yes. Um, now, it's one of those things that there's a tiny part of Yellowstone National Park where you can legally get away with murder. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, we just write that down to fire exit. <laughs> Send it over. Invite him. Yeah, there's a 50 mile radius um, where they call it the zone of death. Oh. No. no <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> it's <all down> fire <laughs> exit, zone of death, please. Um, so, yeah, in the case, it's a district between Wyoming, who has full jurisdiction over the entry of the park, yeah, but another state has jurisdiction over somewhere else and under US law you can only be charged with a felony by one state okay. so they can't move you from one to the other so you could literally kill someone in this 50 square miles and they couldn't do anything about it does it happen a lot um no oh why are we talking about it then um because I'm just letting you know okay that there's somewhere where you can commit a murder and not be prosecuted 
Yeah, until you leave that 50 mile radius. So you've got, so technically, you have to live there for the rest of your life then. Yeah. So you can kill somebody in there, mm -hmm. you've got to stay there. Yeah, pretty much. Is it, is it hospitable? No. No. It's Yellowstone National Park, isn't it? It's not a nice it's where, it's where the super volcano is going to hit. Oh, okay. Do you not know about the super volcano? No. Because it's, it's the crack in the Earth's crust. And so they think that a big, so like, it's seismically active, and it's big enough that if it cracked open, a super volcano would erupt. Wow. And we'd all die. Great. Yeah, big we're all going to die sometime. Well, some of us are getting taxidermy, though, aren't we? Mm. Well, not if there's a super volcano, there won't be very much left. Taxidermy. Free, free cremation, that's all I'm saying. Well, yeah. Would that mean the end of the planet? Yeah. You just combust. No, what would happen is it, the pl people that weren't burnt to death would either choke to death because of all the ash being at low level, couldn't breathe, or would freeze because it'd be in the high level and stop all the light coming through. Oh, party. So, yeah, well, death. Great. But yeah, there's a plan. Um, and if you've got a plan of killing the world, why not share it with us on At The Good TV on social media? That brings us nicely over to our story of the week. We've been quite dark so far mm. in the world sort of stuff. So I want to, to give you a good news story. Okay. How do you feel about crabs? Once you've had them, it's a bugger to get rid of them. No, no, not, not the pubic lice. Oh, the, okay. The little scuttle, scuttle, beachy, beachy. Nom, 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 sand. Um, I have not really thought about it, to be fair. Okay. <laughs> to be honest. Not I like to eat crabs. You like to eat crabs? Crab meat's tasty. Okay. Okay. Um, well, because of the, the recent hot weather, mm -hmm. yeah, there's been a sudden increase in crabs in St Ives. <laughs> Go on, say what you're going to say. No, I'm, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, you are. Um, but yeah, there's the, the spider crabs. Ooh. don't like the name. I don't like sound. You don't like the name of spider crabs? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what's happening to them? Are they killing people? Are they dragging children into the sea to consume them? Pulling their limbs off? Yes. Screeching? No? <laughs> they are dangerous. Are they genuinely dangerous? Yeah. Or are they just a bit, bit shit? Like, if you stood on one, you'd be like, ow, for about ten minutes. Not a jellyfish. Are they big, small? Oh, no, it's depths of 300 feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, 300 feet, 300 feet large. Um, they, they can be quite large. They are poisonous. Are they aggressive? They are aggressive. They're aggressive crab. And there's thousands of them invading the shores. Oh, my word. What are we going to do, Mike? Um, we're well, gonna put, gonna do anything what we're going to do anything. is we're going to put them on planes okay. and fly them off to another country. Oh, because okay. Because that's the way we deal with immigration. It's, right, okay, yeah, a bit of political there. For I, did, I did, I did, did I got yeah. a little bit angry, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. What, so what are we going to do then if we see them? Just don't go near it. Don't go near the crab. If the crabs are coming for you, don't go, hello, little moo. Well, I wouldn't normally do that anyway, really. I've, I've, <laughs> I, um, um, crabbing is a, is, a, is a popular hobby at Seaside Resorts. What is crabbing? Crabbing, you get a, you get a crab pot and a crab line and you, uh, they give you like... <laughs> she said the word crab so many times now in my brain's and going, And you go what? to the, like, jetty or the boulevard. <laughs> boulevard? The thing that goes out into the sea. Pier? So, yes. And um, you boulevard. put your string into the water. Uh -huh. When you get a crab, you put it in your bucket. How do you know you've got a crab? Cause, cause it, <laughs> does it go? I'm a well, crab. It does it tugs? Because it's it's got, it's got the food on the end of the the hook thing. It's not a hook. It's like a piece of string with a bit at the end. And then you pull it out because they hold on. You put it in your bucket. And then when you like a, a board, and had enough, you count how many crabs you've caught, and then you just release them all back into the sea. I once caught crabs off a student. Okay. Yeah, but that's all I have from the buzz this week. That wasn't a weird ending. <laughs> Not the weirdest of endings I've ever had But stick around because coming up next we have Lee and the showbiz Two. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike Now let's get ready for our weekly roundup of showbiz with Lee Would you like news of a new LGBTQIA plus film? No. Are you going to get it? Okay. So this is a new film pro produced and directed by Billy Porter. Ooh. Mm. So back in November 2020, 
it was revealed that he was going to be making his feature film directorial debut with a film called What If, which was kind of sort of like the same kind of story along the lines of Love, Simon, you know, the, right. the, the, the that film and the TV, TV show as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he'd been approached by producers to, to direct it and then he kind of started reading the script and then realised that it was going to be set in his hometown of Pittsburgh in America. So he was like, I'm going to do it. All so right. then it, with a lot of these things, it kind of goes in production for a couple of years. So in April 2022, it was announced that the film was now going to be retitled Anything's Possible. And it's a story that follows a black trans teenager in Pittsburgh as she strives to thrive rather than just survive senior year. Ooh. We've got a picture of, uh, of the poster there. Um, it's, it's on Prime Video. Um, Amazing. A what? Amazing. Amazing. Oh, okay. So basically, the character's called Kelsa. Like any high school girl, she has pressing concerns. She wants to get out of Pittsburgh for college, uh, go, to, go to New York or LA, and she's trying to find the balance. Blah, 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 that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, we, we've got a picture of her, the lead character, with Billy Porter. Well, the actress who plays the, okay. the lead character with, with Billy Porter. Um, Billy Porter's looking a bit odd in that picture, isn't he? The updo. Yeah. Is it pulling, he's pulling his head, head skin? Mm. Head or, skin. Yeah, his scalp. Like his giving head it a skin. His head skin. Yeah. It's obviously a wig. Well, it might not be. It might be might be locks, dreads that have been woven in. Okay, it's fake his hair. hair. Mm, you know, it's not his. He hasn't grown that naturally himself. No, no. But you know, in, in, we're not we're not here to hair judge people. I am. You are okay. So it's written. The film is actually written by trans screenwriter Zamina Garcia Lacuna. Okay. And it's described as a delightfully modern Gen Z coming-of-age story um, for all ages. Um, the lead is played by Kel the lead of Kelsa, this character is played by Eva Ray, a former journalist and trans woman herself, and it's her first acting role. Um, so that 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 is Eva there in the yellow. Um, we've got a picture of her um, coming up now, just so that people can be um, aware of who she is. Very very pretty young lady. Mm -hmm. That sounded a bit patronising. Very pretty it's... young lady. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what she's saying is that it's ironic that the movie's called Anything's Possible. Mm -hmm. That I didn't believe that it was possible for me. My whole life, I'd wanted to be an actress. But even after I'd got the call, I was telling myself, I'm a black trans girl. I'm not going to be the lead in this movie. That's not feasible. Um, I'd be lucky to just play somebody's like friend in a yeah. film. But she's she didn't. She got the the lead role. But... Film now is available on Amazon Prime for your viewing pleasure. Next, we've got we're going back to old Hollywood, but some new news has been revealed about an old Hollywood star. Oh, so Lucille Ball. I love Lucy. Famous comedian, redheaded lady. Many a gay men, man, many gay man or men. Group of men singly on their own, you know. Um, I, I love a bit of Lucy. Yeah. Uh, I love Lucy Brown for just six years, mm -hmm. 1951 to 1957. So we've got her in her high, high heyday on, on the right. And um, there, when she was a little bit older. Not Lauren Harris. Not Lauren Harris, no, as, as you said. Um, <laughs> that looks like Lauren Harris. <laughs> so you know how there's these... Um, Autopsy programs, famous autopsies, where they the kind of um, they don't autopsy pe famous people live on oh, okay. they don't get the bodies, but they talk about their autopsy. So right, okay. if there's been like Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Amy Winehouse, and they kind of go in. It's a little bit morbid, but quite interesting. Really? They Sorry go in, they kind of like, morbid. and they have like really bad lucky likeies that recreate okay. the last hours of these people okay. um, and go into kind of how they died and the toxicology reports and all that. Well, it has been recently found that Lucille Ball mm. was a big fan of poppers. Okay. Well, she, did, a picture of, she of, did, um, did a lot of production. So she would always have a lot of tapes to keep clean. Okay. I don't think that's what she used the poppers for. If, if somebody doesn't know what poppers are, would you? I mean, they're, they're, it's an aruma roma, apparently. Cleans your cassette tape. Does it clean your cassette tape? Do you, are you a are you a fan of the popper? For cleaning cassette tapes, or well, just general, or other uses that other may, uses may not may. be what they originally were yes. designed for. Um, yeah. No. 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 They they can be dangerous. They can be very. They can dangerous. be dangerous. Very dangerous. So they're, they're vascular dilators, which means that they all of your basically your veins and things will, will widen. Your bum so, hole will become bigger than. Normal. Well, it's not just your bum hole; it's all of your veins and all your. All of your veins. They all ex they all expand. Everything. Everything. Right? Which is why you see people get get rushes of heat and stuff 
I don't like the sound. No, I don't like the sound yeah. of that. Which could be very bad for me with my medical lung degree. Yes. I could die. You could just explode. Well, apparently, it, it's been discovered that, that she, she used amyl nitrate, which is a street name for poppers, um, as a way... The, that's the, med, the clinical name, amyl nitrate. Amyl nitrate. Actually, yeah. Street name, poppers. Poppers. Real name, amyl nitrate. amyl nitrate. So apparently, it says here, which is most commonly used amongst gay men in bedrooms. That's what it says. Cleaning your cassette Doesn't tape. just have to be your just bedroom. Saying, cleaning your cassette tape in your bedroom before you go to sleep. Wherever there's a bum hole, you can use it. Um, so she died... <laughs> Doesn't just have to be in your bedroom. Wherever there's a bum hole. <laughs> Wherever there's a small bum it. hole and you need it bigger, you can use it. Wherever you need it, there's a bum hole. <laughs> that's what they should put it. on the that's what should put it on the advertising. That's the name of this episode. Yeah, wherever, wherever there's, there's a, a bum, bum hole. hole. <laughs> yeah. So she Lucille Ball died of rupture of the AO <laughs> Anus? No. Rupture of the aorta. Uh -huh. Um but what she used to do was she used to use poppers. As like a pain control thing, mm -hmm. um, which apparently was quite the rage back oh. in the 1950s and 60s. Yeah, so when she died at age 77, she had been using poppers for at least four years to ease the pain in her heart and her chest. Perhaps her anus, we don't know. But she, she, does, she did a lot for the science fiction community because she commissioned Star Trek. Did she? And she was high on poppers. No, no, no. So Desi Lu <laughs> Studios... Oh. Right, original series of Star Trek. So, without... so she wasn't kind of like in a in a Hollywood bed gaping and going, "Ooh, no. I know what's good: futuristic spaceships." Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, wow. But then, then had the first you know, interracial kiss was on Star Trek. She didn't, but she she orchestrated it. Yeah, right. And the reason why I love Lucy sorry, was taken off is because they showed things like a woman being pregnant, oh. which is groundbreaking. So she did a lot of of breaking boundaries and stuff. Mm. Um, big respect for her. Yeah, big respect. Yeah. A lot of anal. So, going from one highbrow showbiz topic to another. So we're going from the back to the front, you might say. Um, from back Frank, to the front, in this Frank, show. From the back to the front. So Frank Ocean, you know who Frank Ocean is. He's an American singer-songwriter and rapper. Mm -hmm. His two albums have been listed as Rolling Stone's 500 greatest albums of all time. Okay. He identifies as a gay man. And um, we've got a picture of a gay man. Gay we've got a picture of him here. Now this, so basically, what he's done is he's launched a range of cock rings. Oh, okay. Um, and 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 he's, apparently his fans were not ready for this. So the, on the on the um, <laughs> the ant sniffed the poppers. Um, <laughs> on the left here we've got a picture of Frank Ocean in his green hair, uh -huh. and on the right we've got a picture of his cock ring. Not uh -huh. his particular cock ring, but in his range of, of cock rings. Uh huh. So um so he so he. <laughs> It's dubbed the XXXL H Bone Ring. And he, mm -hmm. he announced it on Instagram. Uh, why are you still laughing? Is it because I keep saying cock ring? Because the picture you sent me might not be the one we're about to show. Oh, no. You've done it again, haven't you? Right. So on Instagram, he posted a picture of what people are assuming. People, are, If that's a chicken <laughs> head with a cock ring and I'm going... Um, of, of a nude photograph of the product being used. Uh -huh. And people were saying, oh, but is that you? Is that him? Um, go on, whack it up. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it is the one I sent you. So, yeah, it, it, they're not sure if that's actually Frank Ocean's penis with a cock <laughs> ring around it. Um, so, yeah, people are saying... So somebody said on on um, on Instagram... Um, sorry, I'm sorry. Can we put that picture back up, please? I wasn't finished. Oh, you weren't finished looking at Thank it? You. Okay. Keep talking. Just oh, okay. Talk. All right. Um, but, uh, however, they start, start in price, 370 quid. For a cock ring? For a cock ring. Because it's gold or platinum. Gold. Gold. <laughs> gold cock ring. Um, it can go up to, it's 18 carat gold, <laughs> yellow gold, okay. with um, 60 lab-grown diamonds. Oh, Okay. And it retails now. Actually, I got it wrong. It retails at twenty-seven thousand pounds. Um, so the lab-grown diamonds, right? I quite like because that's what's going to happen to my ashes. I'm going to be made into diamonds in a lab, being compressed, and then put in a cock ring. Well, I was going to be put into a pendant, but I think a cock ring is much more apt. A communal cock ring. Well, not a communal one. Well, who would you give it to? Everybody wanted my cock ring. Right. 
Um, yeah. So, yeah. So what you would have wanted. <laughs> it's what people say at funerals, though, isn't it? It's what I would have wanted. I can't think that a that a diamond encrusted cock ring would be particularly very comfortable for the user. It's not on the in. It's not on the inside the diamonds. No, they're on the outside. But uh -huh. if you're shoving your pinky up, no. If you're shoving your pain <laughs> yeah. up somebody's bum hole or front hole or whatever yeah. hole, inserting with it, it into them with diamonds sticking on the outside, hurting. You don't. You don't wear it on the tip. It's around the base. Yeah, but up against the hole because it's. Frank can beans, Frank can beans through. So unless you go in like full on in, it, it stays on the outside. Porn sex is like they don't go all the way in though. So that would hurt, shredded. No, not shredded, just impacty. Okay. Just anyway. go inside, it's like sticking a cheese grater up your ass. On the end of that, that on the, on end, the of end, that, end of that, under the end of that, no. We see a, a very happy young man going. <laughs> <"Aah."> <laughs> That's the end of this week's Cock Ring Showbiz News. Well, oh, thanks for that, Lee. Always nice to know that you get some stiff competition somewhere. But stick around, because coming up next... Don't judge my bad dad joke. But stick around, because coming up next, we've got our Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play a game of Tenor Man. And this is for the little drummer boy himself. Sophie Pop. Little drummer boy. Eh? Game of the week. So all he has to do is, well, basically I'm going to give him a topic and he has to try and list 10 things that are on these cards that I've got. <laughs> How difficult can that be? Are you ready, Lee? Meow. 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 Well, that wasn't really a word, was it? Meow. Meow. Woof, woof. Not doing animal noises, that's what I thought you were doing. Okay, so you have 60 seconds to talk about, well, to give us the names of the Chinese New Year animals. Go. Pig. Bitch. Rat. Uh, rat is on there. Rooster. Rooster. Tiger. Tiger. Ox. Ox. Horse. Not on here. Monkey. Oh, no, it is. Sorry, yes, yes. Monkey? Yes. Snake? Yes. Ooh, two more. Mm. Um, um, no. Cat? No. Tiger? No, I've said cat. I've said tiger. No. I've said that. Meh. There isn't a sheep. There isn't. I'm just making animal noises. Yeah. A goat? You're with the no. goat? No. No. Um, fish? No. Um, lobster? It's magic and lives by the sea. Dragon? Dragon, yes. Ooh. So you got one more. Oh, but your time's up. Oh, what was the last one? Dog. Oh! You forgot dog. Okay. Did quite well. You did quite very well, very well. Very well indeed. So now you have 60 seconds on something you'll be very good at. Marvel superheroes, um, male ones. Go. Marvel. He said, I don't know which ones are which. I'll just start listing them. Um, um, Superman. No. Spider Man. Yes. The Green Lantern. No. Um, 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 I don't smash know. Smash me, smash me. The Hulk. Yes. Thor. Yes. Um, so actually, the Thor was Captain America. Thor. Captain America, yes. Um, the the Archer one. Green Archer Arrow. one, no, not on here. Um, Wonder Woman. No men. Huh? Male. That's a bit sexist, isn't it? I didn't write the card. Um, um, uh, Iron Man. Yes. Um. Do 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 do. I don't know anymore. They call me Mister. Boombastic. Keep singing. Call me Mr. Boombastic. Telefantastic. Okay, stop. Okay, that's Mr. Good. Fantastic. There you are, Mr. Fantastic. I'll let you off with that one. <laughs> right, so Captain America, Daredevil. No. Red, red suit, blind. No. no. Um, the Incredible Hulk, you got Iron Man, Mr. Fantastic, the Silver Surfer. Oh, okay. Spider Man, Thing. 
Oh. The big rocky guy, yeah. So and Wolverine. 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 I'm Wolverine. That's Batman. Wolverine. I'm Batman. That's what you're doing there. But that's how Wolverine talks. Wolverine. He doesn't say I'm Wolverine, but he talks growly like that. Hey, ready? Mm, yeah. Things you take to the beach. Go. Towel. Yes. Swimming costume. Yes. Um, umbrella. Beached umbrella. Parasol. No. Yes, you do. It's not on the list. Um, sun cream. Yes. Uh, a cooler with refreshing beverages in it. No. Ugh. Um, a beach ball. Yes. Um, um, uh, um, um, a dinghy, a boat. No. Um, um, windbreaker. Nope. Bucket in space. Yes. Um, <laughs> Picnic. No. <sighs> it's like a, a disc. Frisbee. Yes. On your feet. Flip flops. Uh, sandals, but yeah, I'll let you off. <laughs> Sorry. The dog just barked at Deagle. We did a little. It did. Yeah. Uh, beach ball, book. Oh. Bucket and spade, frisbee, sandals, sun cream, sun hat, sunglasses. Oh. oh. Okay. It's going to give us an insight into you, Lee. So I want you to give us 10 common things found on shopping lists. Go. Bread. Yes. Milk. Yes. Cheese. Yes. Eggs. Nope. Oh. Sausages. Nope. Meat. Nope. Crisps. Pretend it's my shopping list. Wine and yes. Wine and lube. What else would I have on there? Uh, chocolate. Nope. Um. Great big rubber fister. No. Think. Mm. Think. Think. Wiping up. Wet wipes. Dry. Cleaning goods. Dry. Dog roll. Yes. Is that not ten? Use it in the morning. Use it in the morning. Coffee, tea. Before that, it makes your orange juice taste funny. Makes your orange... Oh, toothpaste? Yes. Shampoo. So we had beans. Beans. Bananas. Bananas. Bread, cereal, cheese, milk, orange juice. Toilet rolls, toothpaste, and wine. Ooh. Okay. So this one's right up your street. I want you to talk about ancient weapons. Ancient weapons? Yes. Catapult. No. Get out! It was. It's not on here. So a sword. A sword? Yes. No. A mace. Yes. A um, battering ram. No. Oh. I think older. I think less engineered. Um, bow and arrow. Yes. Javelin. Javeler. A uh, spear. Yes. Spear thing. Yeah. Yes. Bow and arrow on its side. Crossbow. Yes. That thing on on the on a chain with the ball, the spiky bits coming out of it. Which is called a a. Spray in your eyes if you're getting raped. What? What, just spray in someone's eyes if you're getting raped? Mace. Yes. Um. <sighs> boiling hot, hot, uh, hot tar. No. <sighs> Wind. Fire. Flaming torches. <sighs> Blowpipe. Okay. That? Uh, you could have had axe. Ballista, club, cutlass. Is your dog having sex downstairs? Because all I can hear in my ear is... Probably. He's not a gentle lover. <laughs> um, so the other day I, I had to stop a phone conversation um, while working from home because you could hear. He was humping his rabbit so hard his legs were coming off the back of the Oh, leg. nice. Yeah. And he was going for a good five minutes. Lovely. 
So, last last one now, Lee. Oh, yay. Okay. Oh, you've got 60 seconds to talk about things made with chocolate. Made of chocolate? With. With chocolate. Uh, ice cream? No. Oh, yes. Oh. Um, cake? Yes. Coke? Um, mousse? Yes. Um, uh, fudge? No. Ooh. Um... Um, uh, la them little lava cakes. No. Pudding. No. Pudding. Um, um, things made with chocolate. Um, is it cake? Is it a biscuit? No one knows. A hobnob. No, that's quite clear. A, a Jaffa cake. No, something a bit stodgier. Flapjack. Made with chocolate. Um, no. Fingers. Chocolate. What happens if you melt it? That fudge. <laughs> what happens if you melt it? Melted soup. <laughs> no, what other people would use if they melted it? Not you just melted a bowl of chocolate in the microwave. Frosting. <laughs> Frosting. No. Icing. Chocolate. Chocolate. I don't know. <laughs> so you could have had brownies. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, cakes, Easter eggs. Oh. Fondant. A cake. You said cake, yeah, you, you got one of them. Um, hot chocolate. Ice cream, you got milkshakes. Oh. You got mousse. Profiteroles. And oh, truffles. And what? Truffles. Oh. Wow. It did really well there, Lee. With anything apart from the list of chocolate. Well done, me. Right, well, after this break, it's time to get crafty. Oh, why? Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to see what he's got shoved up his sleeve as we go to Lee and Crafty Queens. This week, yeah. Mr. MBR. MJBR. 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 We're going to make a moving thing, a moving marionette type thing. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because all will be revealed as um, I'm going to take a guess on what it might be with the things that you've got in front of you. Elephant. Okay, there we go then. Um, so, <laughs> what we'd like you to do is to take your... <laughs> your instructions have not been very well hidden. Take your big piece of square card. Uh-huh. Right? And you want to fold it on the diet you like so, it's a, so it becomes a um, triangle shape. Did you just forget the word for triangle? Yes. <laughs> I nearly said pyramid. So you want it to a triangle? Yeah. To fold it into the triangle shape. Okay. Oh, it's a very thick card. It's a very thick card. Substantial card. Yes. Not cheap. Not cheap. Um, and then Isn't when you it folded it like that, um, turn it so that the pointy bit is facing towards you. So flap down. Okay. Flap down. Um, and now what you're going to do is the two pointy ends that are furthest away from you. Uh-huh. You're going to fold them in, not all the way in, but you're going to fold them um, sort of one in on itself and then the other in on itself like that. So it's kind of become an like a another square, but... but you not. with me, mind? You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Now, what you have to do next is you've got to unfold it all. I've forgotten a step. So unfold it all. So it's kind of sort of like on the diamondy bit. Right. Yeah. And get your scalpel uh -huh. that I've provided you with. Salmon knife. And in the centre... Who's giving you an actual scalpel? Of the line. <laughs> what are you going on about now? Someone's giving you an actual scalpel. Found it up there. <laughs> um, on the horizontal line... Yeah. Right. In the centre, uh -huh. make a little slit. Not a very big one. Okay. Sorry, I was just watching you with a scalpel. I've done because... it. I'm sensible. Yeah, done it. Yeah. And then fold it all back as it was. Because <laughs> I'd forgotten okay. that bit. Oh, I don't think I've gone through. Does the slit need to go all the way through? Yeah. Oh, my slit's just scored. Oh, no, no, no. 
This is safe. Do, 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 do. Boom. Right, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Fold it all back. Fold it all back, love. Right, okay, right. So, right. So the pointy bits at the bottom, mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to fold those in on themselves. So, um, like, push it in and fold it in and then do it with the other bit. How, how deep am I going with this fold? Um, not hugely, because it's an elephant's head. So mine's kind of like that, that deep. Okay. Okay. You're at both ends, yeah? Yep. So that's going to be its head. Okay. So now what you should have are Hang two... On. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Two circles with a white dot in, they're going to be eyes. Okay. Gonna get those. Yep. And glue them onto kind of at the top, not right at the very top, but the. Something like that. Like that. Yep. Okay. Okay, now you should have two. They're kind of kidney shapes. Okay. Kidney shaped. Yes. Yeah, they're gonna be its ears. So although you've folded the flaps down for its ears, ah. you can kind of glue those on so that they kind of stick out at the side. Get off. My instructions are trying to get me. And then inside of the those, there should be two smaller little um, kidney shaped things. Yeah. They're like the inside of the ER. Give it a bit of dimension, you know. A bit of realism, you know. Uh -huh. okay. Now you want to just set that aside for a moment. And I have provided you with a long... Oh, are we, what are we doing? Right, one second. I've only just got to the, the little bits. Oh, sorry. Sorry for me working at the normal speed of a normal human being. Having done this before with instructions in front of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. mine stands up. Done now. Standing up. Do, 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 what? Done. Okay, right. So put your head aside for one side for one second. Okay. Uh, get your, your long strip. Yep. Of paper, so that's this paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, open it up flat. Yeah. You have a straw. I do. A drinking straw. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, get a bit of cellar tape. Right. Put your cellar, put your straw at the very top of one side of your piece of paper and cellar tape it down so the kind of top is sticking out. Oh, but right, okay, I did it wrong. Don't cover the end of the straw. Because you we need the and don't press it flat. Because we still need the straw to blow air through. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Right. And then what you're gonna do is the edges of Oh no, I've done it. So it doesn't go in the middle, it goes on the on the side. No, yeah, it goes on the side. Watch what Daddy's doing. I would like to, but Daddy's being a dickhead and not showing me. <laughs> right, go on. Right, so glue Yeah. all the edges, but leave the bottom unglued. Okay. So you're gluing the side together. Right. And the top. Okay. But leaving the bottom unglued we we've glued it down uh -huh. prepared straw with one of your markers uh-huh because we're going to give it because it's an elephant's trunk and they have like little wrinkly things on their trunk like like in vain case, give it yeah. some give it some lines kind of either side like that to give it a trunk like appearance and then i am on my elephant's face I'm going to give it some eyelashes because elephants have very long eyelashes 
and I'm going to give it some little wrinkles as well to give it like life life okay now you have optional tusks if you want to add tusks okay um, right so get your get your trunky thing yep okay and you're gonna wrap it around one of your fingers at the bottom mm. and you're gonna roll it round right until okay, it meets the thing at the top uh -huh. okay right so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed your straw through the bottom of the elephant's head and through the hole at the top that you created. Okay, I'll stick it through so it looks like a unicorn. Yeah, so you're gonna turn it round so it looks like an elephant's head there. Shall we make the elephant, shall we see if we can make them talk? All right. So you're gonna blow into the top of your straw Blow into the top of the head of an elephant. Yeah, ready? It works! I'll do a cup. Mm. Mm. You might have to roll it up after each go. Let's see. You do, you, you're not doing it properly. Oh, did you glue that? Did you seal the top? No. No. Well, I thought I had. You need to seal the top in the meanwhile, Ty. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's hear your elephant trumpet. Ooh, it worked. I think you'll agree that's a, that's a good, good use of your time. And as uh, with every week, if you can't get any peen or any vagine, be a crafty queen. What do we think of this one? You know what, if I could drink a margarita through it, I'd be impressed. Look, yours looks a bit like the hoob. The what? The hoob. From hoob and herbs a hoob. A bit of boob a do. The, um, you just look at the hoob fiddling with your ass. You know, the, 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 Horton, the, here's a hoob. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, that's almost the end of the show for this week. As always, you can join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv and of course on YouTube or podcast, just search for Chewing The Cud. <laughs> is that a deep voice, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's the reason why you're an endangered animal. <laughs> Ruined it. Why are you forcing your fist into the mouth of a... <laughs> it could be somewhere else.